It's been too long. Hello guys, where are you? David Franca here. DavidFranca.com. That's always linked right below. Why is it that I always seem to take, like, what, 9 to 12 months between tour videos? I love making tour videos. You guys seem to enjoy them as well. So I'm going to try to do these videos more often. So for today, enjoy Tour of Geek's Office Winter 2017. This one's not going to be too in-depth because I'm currently making lunch. So, you know, making use of them time management skills. All right, let's do this. So this is my main door. This is where I walked through. And as soon as you enter, you see my primary setup to the left. Late 2013 Mac Pro. Hasn't been updated in years, but you know what? It's still doing just fine. Vanity Transparent One speakers. LG 31MU97 4K display. Pretty sure I got that correct. Awesome, awesome display. I'll actually link my unboxing right below. Check it out. Apple wireless keyboard, magic mouse. I also have two hard drives over here. 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I primarily use this nowadays for typing blog posts on DFU. Oh, look at that, look at that. It just happens to be up on my monitor. As well as watching podcasts. Hence, Mac Break Weekly being right there. Look what came in the mail today. I'm a huge, huge gamer and I am so hyped and terrified at the same time to play Resident Evil 7. Okay, so I don't have VR yet, so I'm not technically going to enjoy the full experience, but if this is anything like the demo, I'm gonna love every minute of it. It's like PT, Silent Hills, you know, the game that Konami stupidly canceled due to all that drama. Why would you cancel one of the most hyped games of all time? Anyway, it doesn't matter now because this is coming to my life and I'm so excited to play this tonight. But that is not happening until after I stream live on Facebook for Munch Pack. 5 p.m. Eastern, be there. And I might be using my Snapchat spectacles, which are in that case. I have a seven port USB 3.0 hub, GoPro Hero 4, which I use every single week for the patrons only Velocity Vlog. This is not a real uh, floppy drive. Floppy disk, sorry, floppy disk. People always ask, David, why do you have a floppy disk? And I usually joke with my response is saying that I use it for video backup. False. It's a floppy coaster. I love it. I use it every day. This desk used to be an L-shaped desk going this way, but me being the kind of person who constantly likes change and adapts change, I quite literally chopped it off. And now it's a regular traditional desk. And plus, I like looking at the monitor directly. That's a big deal. Canon EOS 80D, love this camera. I love this lens. Super wide, autofocus. It's just an incredible little camera rig overall, especially with this, the Rode VideoMic Pro, and not the Rode VideoMic Go. That microphone could burn for all I care. Munchpack, I will be unboxing that tonight on Facebook. I'm currently unboxing the Munchpack Mini on Snapchat. Over here, in this corner, is my iShrine. It changes pretty much once a year when I get a new iPhone. Hence my iPhone 7 Plus box, all these iPods, all these iPhones. This right here was sent to me from a viewer. Look at this. Is that not incredible? I love this piece of art. So I figured, why not? It's going to go on top of the iShrine. And I think it looks rather good up there. Now, I might make a detailed video about the iShrine in the future. So, if you guys are curious, let me know. I'm just kind of short on time today. So, yes, comment below if you want an in-depth tour of my eye shrine. I think that could be fun. Here's a window which lets in plenty of natural light, as does this one. Hence, while my desk is over here, I like the natural light coming this way. This is like my corner of unboxings that I still have to do. I have a bunch of munch packs to get through, hence why I am a munch pack ambassador. And I am extremely grateful for that, so thank you much back. That I bought myself. It's like a floating magnetic globe. I gotta do that still. And over here is a battery grip, an 8-bit Mario sticky note thing I gotta put on the wall. Christmas gifts down there from Cat Ornsby. Cat, thank you so much. Hopefully, we're gonna unbox that today. I mean, today, this weekend. And back there are more random goodies. Here are my cubes. I love these cubes, but you know what? As much as I love them, I gotta be honest, they're temporary. Because eventually, as I've made very clear in past weekend vlogs of mine, 
All of these amiibo will eventually be on white shelving all around my office. I think it's going to look awesome. And then eventually downstairs, right under me, is my studio, which is far, far, far from being done. Actually, it's on that side, technically. It's under my living room. Um, that studio will eventually have, like, huge-ass shelves with all of these things on those shelves. And then that means I have this corner to do whatever I want. It's all about making the best use of space in this house. And I'm excited. That right there is my egotistical live YouTube subscriber counter. Don't judge me. Actually, judge me. I really don't care. Uh, because this thing right here, it motivates me to work. So, if you want that for yourself, just Google live YouTube subscriber counter or anything like that. I mentioned these already, but here is my Amiibo collection. I have probably close to 80 of them. And it's funny because Amiibo, it's not something I always cared about. But nowadays, I'd find myself obsessed with them. I get my hands on as many as I can. Once again, here are my cubes. Right down there is my canary. I love this camera. It's actually my favorite security camera. Right here is my modem. Apple AirBot Extreme, very old router, but you know what? It works great. Oh, by the way, this is powered by my Azul Windows 10 PC, which is hiding right back there. Yes, it's hiding on purpose. That's the point because I think it just blends in very well. Right here is my cube, which is actually on a timer, thanks to that iHome timer I have. So it turns on every evening at 5 p.m. And I believe off every morning at 8 a.m. It's just awesome. And if I wanted to turn it on manually, I can do so using HomeKit on my iPad and iPhone, and I love it. Oh, and even my Apple Watch. It just works. This is a DeFranco Media gift for my very good friend Mary. It makes me look important, so I keep it up there. And this I earned myself from YouTube, my 100,000 subscribers milestone uh, little silver play button. I love it. I love that thing. And my Apple Pencil, which doesn't really belong up there, but it is what it is. You know what, just like the Eye Shrine, if you guys one day want an in-depth tour of my cubes, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that too. Here's my bookshelf. Don't really read all that much. I just have all these books to make me feel smart. Really, I do. I just enjoy collecting things. Hence my Amiibo collection. And this right here is my Epson printer, the Epson ET2550. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that great of a printer nowadays. I mean, it used to be great. It uses that EcoTank technology where it doesn't use traditional uh, print cartridges. In other words, it's eco-friendly, hence the marketing term, uh, EcoTank. For some reason, it just doesn't print in color all that well anymore. So I print all my things in black and white. It's not a huge deal because I primarily use this printer to print out business expenses. And well, you don't need those in color, so it's not a huge deal right now. But eventually, at some points, maybe like in a few months, I'm hoping to get a good quality printer for printing photos because I'm definitely quite passionate about photography and I would really like to hang up some of my own photographic work on my walls, which I think would be cool. But for now, the Epson ET2550, it's not all that bad, it's just, I don't know, it could be better. And on top of that printer are two older cameras of mine, Canon T4i and Canon G7X. They kind of just sit there because they can. Oh, and down there is my MacBook Pro. It's not usually on the floor. Um, I just needed room on my desk today to watch MacBreak Weekly on my iPad Prizzle. So there you go. Oh, and my chair, not really sure the exact model, but I won it on Quibids years ago for like 40 bucks. I still have it. Not the best chair, but you know what? It gets the job done. Oh, and my webcam. Logitech C910, not C920. It works fine. All right, there you go. Didn't really talk about my tripod and my subwoofer too much, or actually, I didn't really go into detail because I usually make really, really long tour videos, but I wanted to keep things short and sweet for today. And now allow me to stand in front of my brand new storm door. I love this door so much. Shout out to Lowe's. You guys did a fantastic job. Look at all this natural light. I love it. And of course, I will be talking about this in detail in the next weekend of Lockety Vlog. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about my office, please comment right below. And I promise at some point, I will be recording an in-depth house tour. I'll go through every single item 
okay, maybe not every single item, but most of the important items in my house, including my new TV when that time comes, new AV receiver, new furniture, this room behind me is gonna be completely different in just a matter of months. All right, 38 seconds. Guys, thank you so much. Your support means a lot. And check out the videos on my end card if you're interested in learning more about me and my content. I'll see you next time. Peace.